Well, welcome back, Ruben Tech Saltwater Fishing. And uh, <laughs> just drug my kayak from up there. You know, trying to stay out of the winds a little bit today. You know, as winter comes through and you have cold front after cold front, it brings all these strong winds. So we do have strong winds today. I'm trying to hide behind this levee. And uh, not too sure, never fished this location before, just using Google Maps and trying to find an area where I could park and put my kayak in that's uh, relatively doable and stay out of the wind. Sorry, a little out of breath <laughs> and stay out of the wind. So uh, we, we made it here. I have a Patreon join me today. I think he's going to be bank fishing and wade fishing and I'm going to put in the kayak and see what I can catch. You know, I'm not... Like I said, I never fished here before. We had a little bit of rain recently, so I'm not too sure what that did to the uh, the fresh water versus salt water aspect. I'm not seeing a whole lot. I'm not seeing any bait yet, but I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. It's about 45, 46 degrees, so it's a little cool. Uh, I don't know how deep it is here. I, I don't know anything about this. You know, and, and that's one of the things that I encourage everybody to do is go out, explore a little bit, you know, get use Google Maps, find some spots to put in at and fish. And uh, yeah, doing just that today. If you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please go in and do so. Like the video, leave a comment. And there's Jose. What's up, Jose? There's Jose. He's going to be doing a little bank fishing, weight fishing. And uh, yeah, we're going to uh, get the kayak wet. Hopefully, a bit of drag it in here. And uh, yeah, get fishing. What's up, bro? What is that? Well, like I said, I did use Google Maps to find this location and I want to share with you how I use Google Maps, why I use Google Maps on the PC and kind of walk you through my process when I was selecting this location. Now, I'm not sharing with you this location because I'm trying to send people there. I'm not trying to send anyone to go fish this spot. So if this is your regular spot, please forgive me. I just want People don't understand how they can use Google Maps and use satellite images to benefit them when they are looking to stay out of the weather or possibly looking to explore new areas. And on this day, I was doing both. I wanted to stay out of the winds. We had strong wet east winds. I wanted to stay out of the winds, and they're going to be switching to the north. They're going to be blowing somewhere around, sustained somewhere around 18, 20 miles an hour. And I also wanted to explore a new area. That I hadn't pushed put in at. Now I put in a roughly around the same location, but I never put in at this exact location. So I use Google Maps. I use the Street View in Google Maps to figure out where I wanted to go. And and I'm gonna share with you. I'm gonna share with you, give a little insight on how I picked this spot and why. Okay, so right here you have Texas City Dyke, and right next to the Texas City Dyke you have Skyline Drive, and that swings around to the area or near the area I fished. Now, if you're not, if you don't live or fish in the Galveston area, you can use Google Maps anywhere and everywhere, uh, any place that you you want to fish or explore, or I mean, like even freshwater neighborhood ponds. But right here next to Texas City Dyke is Skyline Drive. So this is the spot that I, I picked to put in at. And the reason for that was because, like I said, we we're having strong east winds. And they're going to switch out of the northeast. And they're going to be blowing. And this is a levee. So this protects all this side. So whenever you have strong winds, it's always good to look at a protected side. Uh, whether it's a higher bank or, in this case, a levee. Uh, that I was using so one of the things that I was concerned about is parking because I know down this road There is some no parking places So what I did was that I hit street view right here street view And I simply just I said, okay, well here's kind of right here, right? I kind of have that but can I park there? Zoomed in a little bit. Nope. It says no parking. So I can't park here. I see cars here and there actually was a sign that says parking area. See, right there. It says this area is for parking. So that says parking on it. 
so I said, okay, so I'm not going to have to go super far to put in, to walk my, my kayak down the road. Because see, this is parking right here. It's kind of where it ends. And then if you go further down, you will have signs that say, well, I went too far. You, you will have signs that say no parking. But let me see if I can see that sign. There it is right there. Oh, no, that's a speed limit. There you go. You do have signs that say no parking on both sides. So you can only park on the left side and just at the design, the designated areas. So the other thing that I was looking at was, okay, so how can I walk my kayak down? So there's a bit of an incline. So I'm going to take my cart with me because there's a bit of a slope. But I wanted to see where I can put my kayak in. So I see rocks all around. There's rocks right there. So it looks like that might be a nice soft area that I might be able to take my kayak in. So I switched back to satellite image. And looks like right in here, between here and here, I don't see a lot of rocks. I see all these white rocks. So I said, all right. So the plan is to come park here, bring my kayak down here, and come down to this area and kind of see what the bank is like see what i can do so when i first did come park i did park in the morning and then i walked this shoreline to kind of look at the best area and i i find it i found it to be there so i went back and unloaded my kayak and then drug it down all right well it's kind of starting the day off with this tandem goat i'm gonna see uh see if we catch any fish with it a little breezy right now down here Kind of coming over the side a little bit, a little breezier than I thought it would be. Kind of has me as a funky angle. Water clarity is terrible though. I, I thought it might be. Like I said, we had some rain recently, so all the runoff and uh, all the runoff coming into the, this, this area probably make the water pretty fresh and, and pretty dirty, and it's looking it's looking pretty dirty. So we're gonna just start casting and see if we can catch a fish not seeing any mullet jumping not seeing any bait on the surface so maybe I just picked a bad spot for the day I'm trying to stay out of the wind a little bit so first things first so what I wanted to find while looking at Google Maps is that I wanted to find I wanted to target three maybe in up to five different locations now it didn't have all day to fish so my first target site that I wanted to pick was this intersecting waters right here because we had a strong outgoing tide all morning so I wanted to come over here post up in this area and really spend a lot of time fishing it this tide's kind of dumping out right here so a good choke off point probably a little closer than this intersection than I need to be but great choke off point <laughs> For fish dumping out of this area fish this intersecting waters right here maybe get some fish that are bait that's coming out and predator fish might be chasing them a little bit so just great choke point right here probably need to scoot another 15 feet back but we'll see right here and see what uh is anything that can offer to bite yeah nothing nothing going on here not even a bite I thought I got a couple of I might have got one little bump but it really didn't feel like much just not a lot going on right here at this intersection at least not right now so I don't know I don't know what's up I'm gonna, <clears throat> I'm gonna head further in and so we get something in that back marsh after that area bared no fruit, I wanted to move back into a little bit of a little bit of a marshy area. I, I I wasn't too sure. I'm not too sure what to expect. Like I said, I never fished this body of water before. I never fished this body of water before. But I wanted to come down here and look and target the opposite end of the water being drained out. And then also fish this area a little bit and fish in here a little bit before moving and exploring out this way because whenever you do have water draining out it's always good to try to get the fish around any kind of choke choke points 
or any kind of drains intersecting waters that's that's a lot of times that's where they will the predator fish will hang out waiting to pounce on some bait like intersection here 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 and then here like a real good area to kind of target the fish a little bit i really seen any bait though that's the that's the sad thing is where's their bait there's fish and i not seen any bait back here everything could have even been pushed off from the from the cold temp or from the rain that we had a couple days ago and the third area i wanted to fish and kind of explore was this bulkhead we do have a bulkhead that is over here looks a little shallow looks a little more shallow so i was hoping to come over here and maybe find a couple residential flounder and and just really just really spend a few a few minutes over here casting and casting and seeing what i could find After several hours of fishing, I think I fished like probably like around three, maybe four hours. I didn't have a lot of time to spend on the water on uh, this particular trip. And I, I did meet my friend and, and Patreon, Jose, out there. And Jose, he caught a couple nice little flounders. Uh, just flounder just under under slot size but you know and he was he spent his time fishing on the bank i threw several different lures i threw a voodoo shad i threw tandem gulp tandem gulp is kind of like whenever i'm just trying to catch anything whether it be a croaker or a small red uh gulp is really attracts any anything to bite so i was really trying trying hard just to get a fish on just to feel the tug and i was also throwing a voodoo shrimp under a popping cork uh, i did get a few pulls on the tandem goat but i never hooked up to any fish so i this trip for me was really about exploring searching for a new area that i can possibly fish during heavy wind conditions like we're experiencing cold front after cold front so this is definitely a, a fishy place that i probably will be back um if not maybe i might go further up and fish around the floodgate. The floodgate is an area that I have fished before in Moses Lake. I used to fish it quite often before YouTube. But like I said, I wanted to use Google Maps. I wanted to show you how I use Google Maps and how I plan a trip. So for your next trip, you can utilize some of the same tools, some of the same satellite images. You know, zoom in on some of the areas where you, you look for grass line oyster reefs grass beds drop-offs any kind of intersecting drains choke points i mean all of these areas will hold fish and will hold um a lot of times you can really really get on them under the right conditions now we did recently have a lot of rain so and and i noticed that like typically when i get in the water in my hip waders and i and i get in the kayak you'll have those salty dry spots uh, on your on on my hip waders after the water dries or the water evaporates and I didn't have that at all it was I think the water was just a little too fresh uh, probably pushed out some of the fish it pushed out all the bait I I mean I saw like maybe 10 mullet jump in like three hours so wasn't a ton of bait in there and where the bait goes the fish goes and we all know that so but hey, I hope you appreciate this content. You know, I had a good time making this video, catching up to Jose. And again, I'm not trying to send anybody to this location. I just want you to see the process and how to use Google Maps and how to use it to your benefit. Because like I said, using Google Maps, using different satellite image, Google Earth, all of that will help you really explore and get out there and find the bike, find the spot that you like and find the best place for you to fish but don't forget like comment subscribe share if you haven't done already and until next time i hope you catch me hooking up thanks